Kia ora, and welcome to the first episode of Studio Vlogs. My name is Payne Ports. Um, I obviously vlog weekly, if you don't already know. Welcome to my channel. Uh, but I'm changing it up <laughs> because I've decided that I can't stick to one thing. But today is the start of this week's vlog. It is the 21st, maybe, of March. I am going to do a bit more vlogging of what I do behind the scenes in my business as well as talking about books. So this week we're starting off on a Sunday as I always do. Um, I'm trying not to look in the viewfinder, maybe if I covered it I wouldn't look at it but I do. Um, and I'm going to vlog on my camera from now on if I can manage it. Um, we'll see because vlogging on my phone the quality is a bit low and I don't really like the quality but you know. Um, anyway, let's talk about the books I'm reading this week. Um, let's start off with the book I just finished today. This morning I finished Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book, and I think in a duology, uh, I don't think it's anything more than two books. It is about Spencer, sorry. And she wants to be a pilot for like the world she lives on, um, but because of something her father did, there's all these obstacles in her way. Uh, really good. I rate it 4.5 out of 5. Unfortunately, I don't really like the trope of like, my parent did this, therefore, like, well, this person's parent did this, therefore, they aren't allowed to do the same thing. Um, I think it's just, I know it's realistic, but it really pisses me off and it makes me really angry. So that's why I rate it 4.5 out of 5. Uh, overall, one of the best squads I've ever met. Um, I really like groups, like, books with groups of friends or like found family in them and this definitely had that. So I'm very excited to pick up the second one. I'm going to try to go to the library this week to get the second one. Um, and then this morning I started reading Thrawn Ascendancy Chaos Rising type by Timothy Zorn, um, or Zahn, sorry. This is the first book in the new Thrawn trilogy, I think it is, and it's like a continuation slash kind of like look back into Thrawn's, um, how he got to where he is. Uh, so far I've only got like 20 pages in enjoying it so far, but I haven't really read enough for me to have an idea of how much I'm liking it. Um, and then the final book I started was The Lux by Anna Godberson. Godberson? I'm really not good with names, I'm sorry. This, I don't know why I thought it wasn't historical fiction, but it's historical fiction. It is about a New York society life where uh, the rich girls marry the rich men and all that stuff. Um, but it's about the main character, Elizabeth, and she um, is in love with her stable boy, stable hand, and her best friend is in love with this man, and it's about that world. Um, it's alright, it's written in 2007, so it's definitely a little bit outdated, but in saying that it's not like the worst, and I think in general because I didn't realise it was historical fiction, I thought for some reason it would be like the selection, or the, the not the black key, the, the jewel, the, by Amy Ewing, Ewig, <laughs> I don't know, Ewing? don't know the name of the author. Um, that series. I really can't remember the name of the characters or the name of the book. Um, but I thought it would be like that, just based on the cover. But it's not. It's historical fiction. It's kind of like Gossip Girl-esque, but not exactly the same. But I'd say it's got similar vibes. And because I don't really like Gossip Girl personally, I'm not really into this. However, it's not the worst. Um, I probably will finish it tomorrow because I'm listening to the audiobook and I've only got about an hour left. So that's that. Um, the other books I'd like to finish this week, I do not know. So... Um, so far I've just got these two on my list. Good morning, it is... Monday the 22nd of April no it's not April of March <laughs> um this morning I'm just I'm working on my boxes so if you've ordered a box and you don't want a spoiler don't watch the rest of this video I'll leave, I'll leave like a timestamp when I stop talking about these boxes but also I'll be packing them throughout the day so you may get a glimpse of what's inside the boxes if you want to order a box I actually have more than what I'm packing um, I didn't manage to sell them all which is fine it's my first box I kind of understand I think I was a little bit over ambitious um, but they're really good <laughs> not me just hyping up my own stuff I really like the candles I actually kept two for myself well I kept three for myself I kept two of one um, 
and they're all fandoms I like except for one fandom yeah one fandom is not really my thing anyway um, I printed these you can't really see them there uh, part of the boxes I did like little mini lip balms just for this first box as like a thank you um, but I don't have a circle cutter and I can't find one. I know there are one inch ones, they just don't happen to be stock in my town. So instead of waiting, because I'd like to get the boxes out today, I'm going to cut these, not cut these ones, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to print them and cut them using my Cricut, so I'm just doing some work for that. I swear I don't spend all my day normally sitting here, but it feels like it. Um, <laughs> I just got some mail, so let's unbox it together. You're probably going to be really bored of what it is, but it's actually very rare that I show what I got. This is from Zen Designs. It's, they just changed their name to Zen Aroma. They're based in the Mount, which is about an hour and a bit away from where I live, but too far for me to drive. <laughs> it's cheaper to just buy three pounds. Um, Packing is always good. I recycle all this packing. I got some wicks for testing a new size. It's exciting. I got some more bar salts bags. These are slightly different than their last ones, I think. But it's okay because as long as they're 150 grams, it's alright. And then this is the only place I can find my critical role candle jars um my normal supplier who actually are the ones who supply these people um which is really obvious because they're the only people in New Zealand who really get this um they have been out of stock for a little bit and I need to oh wait fly I need to restock these this month so I bought I think 24 so I could do like four or five I think four of each type which I know isn't really that many but I have about six or seven left, which is going to be pumpkin candles. Um, yeah, I also bought some chocolate flavor oil for Bucky Barnes. Bucky Barnes. Um, and I'm actually watching the Winter Soldier and the Falcon show right now, so it's kind of fitting. Um, yeah, I bought 24 of these, so. I'll be able to restock I think four of each plus whatever I had left already of pumpkins. So if you like my critical roll candles they will be back. Except actually Caleb might not be back because I'm still waiting for a fragrance to show up. So when I say they'll be back everything but Caleb for sure will be back. Caleb we're seeing when my fragrances actually arrive. That one I bought basically the wood smoke or fire or whatever scent I use for it has been out of stock with my normal supply for a while. I don't know if they've decided to get rid of it or if it's just taking a while to get to them because I did do a restock recently and it wasn't included. Um, so I've bought some from an Australian supplier because I was buying some other stuff but because it's fragrance it has to be shipped via sea so it takes a bit longer. Um, I should actually check the tracking on that but anyway um, speak of the devil, my fragrance arrived and also this box of things I don't want anymore but I'll show you when I get it back to my house. I got more mail. Huh. Um, so let's open it. I never do like mail unboxings. I'm sorry I'm out of focus probably. This was some fabric that I bought 
from the United States. Sent me on a roll. I bought it months ago for a cosplay with um, some, what do you call it, like other fabric and the other fabric. They couldn't deliver. They, like, they couldn't fulfill my order. So instead of telling me before they shipped, they just shipped half of it. Um, and this was the stuff I just bought to get free delivery through the United States. So anyway, I've got this nice fluffy faux leather fabric. Anyone got any cosplay ideas that this would uh, work with, I would really appreciate. Because I don't really want it anymore. And it cost me far too much money in the end to get it to me. Uh, then if I had just bought this in New Zealand. Unfortunately, nowhere in New Zealand sells yellow faux leather or pleather. Um, and that's what I really wanted, and so I bought this to go with the jacket. I'm gonna do uh, Aviator Aurelia from League of Legends, but that's not happening anymore. So that's the first one, and now I'll get the other ones. And here's my other ones. This one is from Aussie Candle Supplies. It was my first time buying from them. I'm just gonna take that out. Oh, it's got my name on it. That's very lovely. So what fragrances did I buy? Because I do not remember. Okay, so I got Wood Smoke. I'm gonna sniff it. Sniff it. It's it smells like wood smoke, but it doesn't smell like the wood smoke I had. But that's okay because I can probably <laughs> I can probably figure something out. I bought coconut lime, which I already bought in New Zealand. I can't believe I do this all the time where I don't think I've already bought something, so I buy more of it. It smells the same as the other one, so that's fine. I can just mix those. And that's for a candle coming up in May, so. I got musk stick, which is one of my fragrances that no longer be sold in New Zealand, so I'm trying to find something similar but this isn't quite the same so that's just going to go in the lot of masks I can use. I got one called Twilight Woods. I don't remember why. Oh it's quite nice. It's musky <laughs> and a little bit like woodsy which makes sense and then I also got Pomegranate and Sage which is for another candle as well. Did I also buy this from New Zealand? That one's nice though. Um, that smells like pomegranate. Just straight pomegranate. And then finally I got a orange creamsicle lip balm flavour because I couldn't find it in New Zealand. And it smells really nice. It smells like orange lollies. So happy with that. Didn't know what I bought. So that's my fragrances. This one I'm a little bit disappointed in. Uh, only because it smells too like, it smells like wood burning like after the fire. Like, like smoke. Like if you go to a bonfire and then you smell your clothes the next day, this is what it smells like. And I mean it's accurate, but the other one here in New Zealand called Wood Smoke and Fire from my normal supplier, it smells a little bit sweet. So maybe I could mix like my stick in it, and maybe because this isn't exactly what I want, I could add them together to make it sweet. That's what I do. I blend fragrances. That's that. And now we're gonna open up this big one. It is like protruding. Like I can't even sit it flat. I don't even know how to open this. Um, a few months ago, beginning of. February, one of my TikToks blew up and it happened to be Roll for Hygiene, which if you don't know, Roll for Hygiene is my soap that comes with a full set of dice. So I made another batch, it sold out, um, so I decided to bulk buy dice finally after meaning to do it for a while. That's it. I got Ooh, pretty. I, ooh. I found these on Alibaba, one of the best websites ever, obviously. Um, I'm really bad, though, at looking through supplies. I just go for the first few ones I find. Like, I look through them, but I don't get multiple things. But I said to them, I said I like option one, two, and three, for example. And I said, just give me 50 sets, but, like, mixed colours. So, I am quite happy. They're all really cute. I love these ones the most so far. They're, like, a nice green. I'll show you a close-up. Um, I won't show you all the dice though. And then I also got some see through ones like blue and grey. So I got three different types. Um, these ones are probably like the most random type because they're different than what I've got before. And then these are like those basic ones that people have in dice shops. So I got 150 sets. Which also means I can finally restock Roll for Ambience, which is my candle that comes with the dice in it. Um, I normally just do seven at a time, and one has a D20 and the other ones just have the other dice. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Um, there's my unboxing. I am professional. <laughs> it's 
it's very bright in here. <laughs> I just thought I'd come on here really quick um, to let you know that I'm going to bed now. Um, <laughs> I'm currently not wearing any pants. I'm going to read a little bit of Thrawn Ascendancy before I go to bed. Probably about 50 pages and then that's me for the night. Good morning. I'm sorry about the lighting in advance. Maybe I should go from the other angle. But if I go from the other angle, you get to see me again in the same thing. Anyway, it is Tuesday. I have just showered. Um... Uh, and today I am making some candles and some lip balm. I am restocking Nerfless and Bucky Barnes and I'm also restocking um, Sticky Barnes, Laura Jean and Persephone. I've got one order to pack but I may, I probably should just pack it. Um, I like to have like two or three for my career to pick up because I feel bad even though it's literally his job to pick things up but I'm also a really considerate person. Which is why when I get lots of orders, like during release weeks, I split them into like 20 parcels maximum. Because I feel bad for him trying to fit like 30 or 40 into his van. Anyway. two o'clock um, and I've kind of finished my work for the day so I'm trying to figure out what to do. I have some tops of candles that I heat gunned because they look not very pretty but I'm going to do another pass because they still don't look very pretty and otherwise I've now cleaned up my whole desk and I actually scraped down the desk for once. It's not really a desk, it's like a workbench. Um, and I need to take some video stuff for TikTok. I was going to say for Netflix. It would be really funny if I did stuff on Netflix. It's quite dark in here because when I make candles and I need to use my second bench, it's right in front of the window. There's nothing blocking it. So I put my curtain down. Look like a bit of a recluse. Um, otherwise, tonight I have my class. I do today of Māori lessons because um, I want to learn the language. I'm only doing a basic course and I... I think just in general I don't enjoy learning. Um, I enjoy learning in my own time. I really dislike classes. Um, I don't really have the motivation to go. And it's not that I don't want to learn today or Māori. Um, it's that I don't want to leave my house. <laughs> no, I like learning things in my own time. Um, and also outside of my class I have no one to conversationally speak the language with because no one in my family speaks it. And none of my friends speak it. My dad speaks a little bit through working with Melody Trusts, through his work, but like basically it's just me. So, and my parents do understand basic stuff I say to them, but even then I'm only, I only know basic stuff. But um, yeah, that's a little, little bit of a long-winded thing, but I have an assessment tonight. I've just been nervous because I didn't go to class last week because I wasn't feeling well. So, yeah, that's, that's that. Um, but that means I have 
three hours until I have to go to class, so I might get started on cosplay. We'll see how I feel. I'm feeling quite lethargic. Um, I'll finish up my candle stuff, clean up. I finish lip balms and all that stuff. Um, and tomorrow I'm taking the day off, so I won't film tomorrow. I might go to Hamilton with my mum. We will see. If I do film anything tomorrow, it's be me doing a reading update. But honestly, I don't know if I'll even read anything today. I haven't listened to any audiobooks, so... Yeah, that's my update, and I'll check in with you guys either later tonight, if I do any reading, or Thursday. Happy Wednesday. Um, wait, one I went out. I don't think I'm in focus. I went out. Um, the reason why I didn't vlog today, or vlog me going out, is because I forgot to bring my camera. Um, uh, but my mum and I went to Hamilton, which is about an hour and a bit away from where we live, um, to go look at some stuff. Uh, but I took the opportunity to go to a bookstore. I went to M Mark One Comics. I got this book. Thrawn Alliances, um, and then probably found out my brother possibly bought this for me for my birthday. Anyway, so I got that. I might have to unhaul it right away though. Um, so if any of my friends want this book, I may have it up for grabs. And then I also got three comics and some other stuff I will look at. I don't actually know. I got the three High Republic editions. Uh, this is an alternate cover. I don't know much about it. This one's a cover, I think the original cover, and this one I actually didn't know it was out, so when I saw it I just grabbed it. Um, and I'm really excited because I actually had read these two online, but I wanted to own them and in general have them, so pretties and I will read them. Thanks to that awesome comic book shop, I'm glad I finally got to go to it. Otherwise, I did not listen to any books today. some books um I just finished working as you would have seen I was doing some candle stuff today sorry my house is dark the curtains are closed once again I just finished both um I finished this the other day it is the Lux by Anna Godberson and then I also today finished Rumours by Anna Godberson part of the same series these are historical fiction about the Holland sisters essentially um Elizabeth in this first book I imagine this is her and it's probably Diana um she is in love with her stable hand and I think I might have already mentioned this but anyway um and she is not exactly forced to marry someone but essentially they've run out of money and so she has to marry this other guy who her best friend's in love with and then her sister falls in love with um and at the end of the book she dies um and then this book is about her sister and her sister trying to get married to uh, well, not necessarily married, but trying to get her love, the guy that her sister was originally engaged to, be with him and stuff. Um, it's an interesting series. It's not really my thing overall, because I'm just not the biggest fan of historical fiction. It has like a Gossip Girl-esque vibe to it, mixed with like maybe the selection, or maybe... Yeah, I don't know what else. I don't read a lot of historical fiction, so it's probably not that original. Um, and I don't like historical fiction that much. I much prefer science fiction where it's more futuristic than past. That's just me. The characters, in my opinion, aren't that interesting and the story overall is just kind of bleh. But I would say that the end of this one was quite, not devastating because I don't love the characters, but it was a little bit sad. Um, something happens to a character that didn't deserve it to happen to them. So... I have the other two audiobooks available at the library and I did actually buy the fourth book in the series. So I got this one like months and months ago and then you would have seen if you watched my hauls and monthly wrap ups I got this one because it was $5 at a used bookstore in town. Um, so I did buy the fourth book, I didn't realise, I thought it was a trilogy, it's a quartet. Um, and they're all available at the library. The fourth book hasn't shown up. I don't know where it is, don't really care honestly, I paid a dollar for it so it's not like the end of the world if it doesn't show up. Um, but in saying that, these are not only different sizes, um, I don't know if I want to finish the series. It's like 5.40 according to my phone. I'm listening to Ruthless Gods right now and really enjoying it. Um, a video I think will come out before this one. I filmed in this outfit uh, my wrap up for the month. So I think that I will actually be able to finish this because tomorrow I'm going out to Auckland to see Byron. Yeah, so I'm currently reading that while listening to it and I'm going to do some work. So I will do some labelling. 
bring you along for the ride aka you'll just watch me do it for a while and then I will check in with you tomorrow Sunday. It's the end of my vlog now. Um, I just wanted to quickly come on here to say hi, I'm at home. Yesterday you would have seen, well, it's Sunday. So Friday I went to Hard to Find Books in um, Auckland, which is located just outside of the city. I think in Newton it's near the suburb. Um, and I picked up Recursion by Blake Crouch. I actually read this, I think last year, might have been the very beginning of this year, and quite enjoyed it. And it was for $8.50 only, so I picked it up. <laughs> And then I also spent the weekend with Byron, so I didn't do any vlogging. Yesterday we went book shopping, I didn't buy any books, but he did give me this book, which is Into the Dark by Claudia Gray, which I actually had already pre-ordered uh, through my app, so I managed to go cancel my order, but I'm still waiting to buy The Light of the Jedi, which I'm going to go pick up, and I also already kind of wanted to buy Thrawn Ascendancy, even though I didn't love the book. Um, but I'm going to go purchase that as well, because I'd like to add Star Wars books to my collection. This is going to go onto my TBR shelf. Although, actually, I think I'm going to read it next. I don't think I'll finish any more books before the end of the month, but that's that. And then I also managed to finish The Nowhere Man by uh, Anthony Hurwitz? No, Greg Hurwitz? I think it's middle Anthony. I think I call him that. Um, this is the second book in the Orphan X series. This is about Evan Smoke, and he was raised as an Orphan X, or an Orphan, part of the Orphan program, and they're like Hitman, essentially, like, they do cleaning up of stuff. Um, and he's currently been hunted by other people in the Orphan program because they're trying to get rid of all the extra orphans. I don't know how to describe it. It's a second book. In this book he gets kidnapped. <laughs> and he has to try save this guy while also trying to get his way out. And he eventually gets rescued at the end. Um, or slash breaks out. I really enjoyed this. I read it 4 out of 5. I'm so happy that I finally continued on the series. My friend Mal is letting me borrow the books. Um, I have the other three. I have two more. And then I've got one as an audiobook because Mal couldn't find book three in their collection. But thankfully my library had it. So it's currently actually available for me and I'll start listening to that this week. I'm glad that I finished this and next month I can finish the series hopefully and I can return these books to Mal because I'll be seeing Mal I think twice next month or maybe only once. I live far away from all my friends if you didn't know that. So yay living in a shit town. The end of my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you enjoyed a studio vlog. Next week will just be a normal reading vlog but then the week after that I will have no, actually, I think it's two weeks from now. I will have two show vlogs. Should I? I don't know what to call them. They're like event vlogs. So I've got Overload and Armageddon coming up, uh, where that will just be solely focused on my business and setting up for the events and all that fun stuff. Um, I might try and include friends in it, but I'm really awkward. So if you're my friend and you're watching this and you want to be in my vlogs, please let me know because I just don't want to awkwardly ask people um, and I don't tend to film myself out in public. Anyway, um, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!